The Indian Journeyman series continues. Today we have a chance to take another step on our way to Champions League glory. But well, first we've got this small little matter of getting past all the preliminary stages of the Champions League qualifiers. My name is Daljit, this is Bustanet. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button to stay in touch for more videos like this. Alright, quick update. Let's see who are the sides who have actually gone through. We've got uh, Lebanon's Nejmer winning or beating Syria's Al Shorta 3-1. Then Turkmenistan's Altin Ashir uh, beating, uh, aside from Tajikistan, 4-0. We beat Jordan's Jazeera 3-2. Over in the East, first preliminary round, unfortunately for all Singaporean fans of Home United. Home United got knocked out early by Eastern from Hong Kong and then North Korea's April 25 beat Mazia which brings us to our second preliminary round so Melbourne victory are going to step in in the second round so they got a buy in the first so they play Kaya from Philippines now there's a lot of things I could say about Kaya uh, Eastern from Hong Kong will play Vietnam's Quang Nin Kedah Oh, they get a buy, do they? <laughs> they get a buy. They play April 25, Western Sydney Wanderers. So these are where the Australian sides come in. They come, they actually get a buy and they come into the second preliminary round to play these teams. And over in the West, the second preliminary rounds, naturally, uh, all these teams like Jazeera will get a buy. Al Ain got a buy. So yeah, we're going to play Nasaf from Uzbekistan. This is going to be a tough game because Nasaf probably... Uh, almost, yeah, the they, they attributes are definitely a lot better than ours. Right? Look at this. These are the, only the players that you can see. This is going to be one hell of a match. So the playoffs, we got Eastern, Kedah, might play Visser. Oh my goodness. Now let's, so now let's take a look at what's, let's take a look at what's possible for the Eastern playoffs. Kedah. Whistle Kobe, hey, holy cow, Sam Freche from Japan, these are giants of the game, Jiangsu of China, Korea's old son. Oh, if we can get this, I'm, I'm going to be just shell-shocked if I can get this far, right? I, I am going to be shell-shocked if I manage to see this stage of the competition. They got Al Itihad of Saudi Arabia. Man, this is this is a really tall order. <laughs> okay, so here we go. There is no more time for us to. I'm still looking for players that can play for Indonesian. Okay, we have an Indonesian Marco, Indonesian fullback. He looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. Available on a free transfer. It's time we started looking at players that could. Play. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put him on the short list, man. Add him to the short list, six months, and then um offer him a trial for one week. Um see so what his personality is like. Okay. So we got Nasaf versus Mohun Bagan. This is the big match. A quick pick again because not every one of our players can go there. Betia, Sahil, Gonzalez, Sandu, Cyrus, Osman, Bikramjit Singh who has, who had such a big game in the last time. Jahid Hussain, Hussain, Jahid Hassan Hussain, Ronald Singh and Gosh. We are playing the same way but this time I'm going to start the game on an attacking mentality but I'm also going to bring the attacking with down. We're going to basically play a more aggressive game out of the gate. And we've got nothing to lose. So here we are. We're playing against oh the one formation that can cause us a lot of grief, the 4-4-2. They're playing with the inverted winger who's gonna be running this way. They got a ball winning midfielder as well. Oh, this is a big, big game for us against uh, Nasaf. And we hope that we can get a result today. Done our team talk. How is this? Oh man. I Send the assistant. I got no time for the press. And here we go. The match is about to get underway. We got, oh, we're doing all the defending. Majumda with the ball. Plays it long for Javid Has Hussein. Frank Glass with the ball. Brings it forward. But I think that's the end of our... They got... Oh, we've got a throw, Betia. I'm so excited that we actually got a throw. But that was the end of the throw. 
They played out Betia to Gosh. Betia plays out to Ronald Singh. Joe, that was a chance, man. That was a half chance for us to take the lead. We got Frank Glass into the wall. I think I should slow the speed down because even my commentary makes no sense because I sound like I'm choking on my own words. Sandu plays the cross. Betia will pick this up. Gets us the corner. Good work. Good work. We got Betia with the corner. Puts it into the box. It's Sandu. Sandu puts the ball back in. Javid, Hussein, her son could not get there. Premier off. Brings the ball forward. Is to Nurit Dinov. And the challenge sends Gosh away. Gosh now with a chance to cross. Javid Hussein who he could not rise above. He, he could see the boy trying to jump. Such a small kid. Right? He's trying to jump, win the header. Oh man. He tried his best. His height is only 1.64. He, he tried to hit the ball. That was never going to work. France Glass. Osman's header, ooh, that was close. Just so one of the reasons why he's playing is because he's got good jumping reach. Joseph Betia, the boys are playing well. Opening exchanges look promising. Gosh in the box, it's crunk there. Sandu looks for a chance to shoot. He, it's uh, not a penalty. Toraev brings the ball forward. He gets away. Is it? He skips one. He skips two. Majumda says thank you for the ball. Javid, Hassan Hussein has been booked. Oh, come on, son. Don't go, get out. Don't go out there getting cards. Mohun Bagan looking good at the first half. Ooh, actually playing well. I'm far from please. Come on. That's the way to take this. Sahil. Back to Bikramjit Singh to Osman. Bikramjit to Sahil. Sahil looks long. Plays the ball, but uh, the right wingers also on the same telepathic wavelength. We will not attempt to pronounce some of these Uzbekistan names. And it's a simple pickup for Majumda. Corner, Betia to take this. Puts it into the box. It's cleared. It's annoying that the commentary is white on white. Betia hits it down. The keeper with a reflex save. That should have been a. That should have been buried by the striker. The referee has to learn how to get out of the way. Betia shoots. Betia scores. We have the lead. Away to Nasaf. Oh, man. Come on. Line us up with a day with Al Ittihad. With Al Ittihad. The legends of Asia. Man, if we get a chance to play against the legends of Asia, this will be something else, man. You can just imagine this. Let's not, let's not plan ahead for celebrations. No street parties yet. Because, oh, what a save from the keeper. But it's a free kick because he was offside. Jahid, okay, we're going to demand more from the boys. Okay, we've got Bikramjit Singh. Finds Osman. Osman out to Betia. Betia to Sahil. Sahil slides it to Javid Hassan. Hassan Hussein. If I can pronounce his name, I get it right once on my show, I'll be happy. Wrong glass. Out he goes to Betia. Betia, Beta, mera, mera Beta, please. My son, Betia. I know it's, we call it Beta, it's like my son in Hindi. Okay. Come on, you sweet thing gets us a throw in. Mera Beta, please. My son, my son, Betia. Come on, please. Every time, one of the reasons why he's in the team, right? Josepa, Betia. My son, please. Ronald Singh, don't get sent off. This is not the time for us to get too. Do you have a uh, tackle harder? Yeah, he does. Okay, we're going to ask him to ease off tackles. Okay. Yeah, Mama Zan. Okay, you have to Premier off. Premier off slides to Smith. Smith shoots. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Oh, Bagan. Joseph Betia with a knock. I got to keep him on. Gosh. Plays it back to Betia, who's got taken a knock. Sahil out to France Glass. He's going to line one up, but... Oh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Yes, we've since changed his name to Billy Ray Cyrus. 0.38. Joseph Betia, 50. Yes, well, that's not too bad. He doesn't have any kind of an injury, so that's fine. Yeah, uh, he's just been booked. We got... I'm, I'm pausing the game because I'm too nervous. 92 minutes... 
We've got a throw. We gotta tell the boys to concentrate at this point. This could be a momentous win. It's into the box. It's Gosh. It's Oh, the keeper parries it away. Gosh, we're gonna waste some time. We're gonna take Betia off right now. Um 51. We're gonna bring on the La Ram Chulova. Okay, this is Oh no, he skips past one challenge. No, this is not this is not happening. Oh, what a save. What a save. Good defending from the players. Run glass with a free kick into the wall. It goes. We got a few more seconds. It's a throw. Uh, I wish there was something here that says waste time. Right, instead of going to the tactical instructions. It's one of my pet peeves in the game. Gosh. Oh, he loses out. It's going to be Billy Ray Cyrus to Fran Glass. Fran Glass plays it out to Ronald Singh. Ronald Singh is brought down. It's a free kick. We've done it. We have done it. There's no way we can lose from this position. Okay, here we go. Mohun Bagan with the free kick. You know Fran Glass. Time is on. We've got the advantage. Oh, he keeps the ball. Recycles it. Sahil puts it back into the box. Granilev clears the danger. It's a throw. The final whistle goes at the stadium as Mohun Bagan have done it. They have expected this game to go to penalties, but Mohun Bagan, the side from India, the giants of Indian football, they are going to the playoffs. Nobody gave us a chance. You guys were magnificent in other results. Al Ain, holy cow. They beat this side 5 1. Al Jazz, you're out 4 0. My heart is. Oh my goodness, Nas. Eastern. Oh, Eastern did well from Hong Kong. They, they're uh, not a bad side. Kedah out. <laughs> Should I let Singapore play? Mel Home United go. Melbourne victory are through the two. Look at Melbourne victory. The Australian side. This is going to hammer everybody. Uh, we win the AFC second round. Uh, qualifies preliminary rounds, right? So, this is it. Mohun Bagan draw Al Itihad of Saudi Arabia, the mighty giants of Asian football. And we are playing it at home. They have to come to India. <laughs> India. <laughs> and it's a, it's a playoff, right? The two teams are separated by a considerable distance, but a bumper crowd is nonetheless expected for what will undoubtedly be a fascinating and hard fought tie. I am so happy that we are through. Holy cow, this is I didn't expect us to get to this stage, right? I honestly thought the show was over in the last one. So I thought I had to quietly go through it one more time. It means so much to me that we are through to the next round of the Champions League. Because I Yes, the, the thought in my head has always been prepare for disappointment. But I was surprised that we could take it to them, play narrow, hold the ball long enough, keep it effectively enough to deny them a chance to build play up. And it actually worked. So we actually stole a 1-0 win against a team that I was expecting to lose against. But now against Alitiad, well... They're coming to Salt Lake Stadium to play this game. They're going to be... Yeah, in certain... Because in uh, in India, right, for Mohun Bagan, we've got two stadiums, right? For big events, we go to the main one, Salt Lake Stadium. And that's the one with 66,000 fans. Hopefully, we can pack them in and, you know, give them a real Indian welcome. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Indian Journeyman series. Um... If you have any questions, please look me on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com. My website, once again, I want to thank everybody for the continuous support of this channel. Make this kind of show possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.